Welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within, Burning Dog fans. Last time, I had a boss fight against that thing, and, uh... We learned that the scientist discussing the horrific experiments on the audio logs is actually Ruvik, and that he's not just some monster. We also learned that, uh... Leslie was one of his test subjects, although I suspect from the way he talked about him that he was already kind of messed up before that, so it's not entirely his fault. Um... Then we saw a bunch of really quick images of stuff I didn't understand, but I could have sworn I caught a glimpse of the safe guy in that one. So, you know, whatever. Just another fucking day in the job for Sebastian Castellanos. Let's move this off to the side. I'm gonna go over that frame by frame, you can believe that. Oh, please don't. Has something startled you? Did they do something to my head? You don't look well. You should take better care of yourself. That's a safe. Church floor collapses. No injuries. Witness says miracle. Biggest church scandal to date. Really? That's the biggest uh, scandal the church has seen to date? Never mind, not gonna go there. Floor of Cedar Hill Church collapses during renovations. Parishioner says it was a miracle no one was injured. Oh, right, the other... Oh. Photographs? Hmm. A church. Hole in the ground. Uh, a really creepy hole in the ground. Oh, stop that. Oh, please. I don't want to see that. Oh, God. Oh, this is... Oh, this is bad. I don't like this at all. This is like Doom 3 levels of bad. I need to distract myself for one second from what's about to happen. Okay. Uh, let's see... Centuries-old statue demolished? Church painting stigmata. Creepy. Prescott promises social change. Bullying causes another suicide. If you're not familiar with the term, uh, stigmata is the term for the wounds of Christ. Uh, there have been a bunch of people throughout the ages who have purported to have uh, religious experiences where they see God and they spontaneously start bleeding from the hands and uh, feet. Experience their terror. I mean, I literally found it lying in a puddle of blood, so... And there was a note from uh, the, the village saying that Norman was captured by the monsters.
Well, I'm not actively being strangled right now, so I don't think it was the, uh... Invisible guys. My good friend Ronan Drake had an interesting suggestion about them. Which was, uh, to find out whether these get triggered by the invisible guys. Or, you know, these, or these, or whatever. Lay some goddamn traps. It's gonna have this handy. Sure, while we're here. Sure. Oh, good. It's green gel. Mmm. It's almost as much as I got for the boss fight. Thanks. Fuck me. I can't see anything. I came from this direction. I didn't even know that. Fine, we have to go this way, don't we? Because, you know, that's where the jump scare is going to be. Look at me! I'm good at dispensing cryptic information! And hinting that you're slowly going crazy. Not that we needed any help to figure that one out. interesting that the safe room is very decidedly not a safe place. Yeah, no way. Not right now. I'm not strapping myself down while we're in creepy town. Oh, hell. I mean, okay, gross, but roaches are not inherently supernatural in and of themselves. Yeah, what I had originally... the impression I originally got of The Evil Within was that it was a Resident Evil knockoff with uh, more of a focus on the supernatural... Sorry, that was, was actually focusing on the supernatural rather than on the all the, you know, science gone wrong from Resident Evil. Oh god. her thighs there this time? Can't move. There we go. Oh. I didn't like that. This was definitely not here before. That doesn't open. Uh, and that the... Uh, oh yeah, and that the Evil Within gives more of an effort to actually be scary than Resident Evil. This is totally different, man. This doesn't feel anything like Resident Evil. It's genuinely freaky. Like, Resident Evil felt like one of those sort of horror-themed action movies. Ruvik. I presume. Nope. Nope. That wasn't Ruvik at all. That was a large man with a safe on his head. Or four ahead. Can't go in there. Well, that's slightly better. Hello, Leslie. Sebastian? Sebastian? Sebastian?
tripping balls, man. Sebastian, you should not have dropped acid before responding to that, uh, murder call. Okay, just check. I didn't think so, but... This thing would hit, man. You can smuggle those cases into your, uh, environment. Can you even imagine Agent 47 smuggling a harpoon into a level? All crisp and neat in his suit, and he just gets a fucking harpoon out and throws it in a guy's heart. I wonder why they decided not to lock the camera behind your shoulder, given that, you know, Resident Evil 4 basically changed the way people looked at third-person shooters. I don't know how many games knocked that off. I mean, Cold Fear had to be like that. It was one of those, and when I did the math, I realized that they had to have started it before Resident Evil 4 even came out. They just basically made a knockoff of what they had publicly shown of the game by that point. Same place as the photographs. Getting kind of a Lords of Shadow vibe from this uh, area. Of course, the sun is going down. Let's just keep going instead of investigating this house at all. Gonna walk under that because I'm not stupid. Don't see any glimmers hidden in the in the grass. Uh okay. Oh. Sorry, I thought it was in the other way around. Oh! Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah, let's just not drop down like idiots. It is a noticeably faster uh, reload. I still don't regret not upgrading the uh, stats while I was in Spooky Town because fuck that. How is my health? Oops, I brushed my mic there. Yeah, that's all right. I'm wondering if this is going to turn into one of those games... Like, Resident Evil 4 started out kind of ammo conservation-y, which I understand is a famous thing. That basically is how the... How do I put this? Resident Evil 1, I think, was the game that, def that coined the phrase survival horror, where you had to scrounge for supplies and make every bullet count and everything. Uh... I never played that one. Uh... But when I played Resident Evil 4, it started out like that, but eventually you're just finding tons of ammo for everything, and uh, it's not really a problem. I was starting to say earlier, what I would say Resident Evil does really well is make an intense atmosphere. Like, it's tense, but it's not really scary. Save for the guy in the oven who jump-scared me towards the end of the game. Alright, just checking. Well, aren't you a clever Dan? What the fuck?
can't, 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 can't go through the window. I don't like the vast number of birds out there, by the way. I have noticed that. From a distance, I thought they were bats, but uh doesn't seem like it. Those are entirely the wrong noises for bats. Sounds like Joseph or Kidman is alive. Since it seems like no fucking one else survived the apocalypse except Marcelo Jimenez. It was about to crack open. But now it's like... I'm starting to get used to it. You seen Kidman? No. Next thing I knew, I was here. I must have blacked out or... Maybe I turned again. Giant hands pulled us through the ground and now we're here. Inside. Let's go. This doesn't bother you? Another one? Any day now. This is not good. I'm working on it. Just give me a little time. Shit. Ah, oh, god damn it. No, oh, now, now. Ugh. I knocked those over. Can't even get to the windows to jump out. Great. That anyway. Can't hold them off much longer. Another moment. Just keep me covered. Oh hell. No. My organs. Oh, come on. Solve that problem. Excuse me. Oops. Bad boy. Where'd you come from? I blew you straight out the window. No! Okay, that worked. Wasted one for some reason. Oh shit! Mind me. 
I just want to make sure they're not following. Okay, they're not following. I'll admit to maybe enjoying that a little bit. <laughs> oh, hey. Clever. But the uh, timer did just go. Aw, oh, hell. Aw, oh, hell. Really? Ow! No! Bad! Back off. Don't mind if I do. Pardon me, watching you skids. Sebastian, let's go. Looks like we're out. Okay. Let's rest for a minute. We can't keep going at this pace. I... I think we've got to get out of this place as fast as we can. What about the tower there? We might be able to get a lay of the land. Anything's got to be better than staying here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play The Evil Within. When we, uh... I don't know, we try to get to that tower, I guess. Kind of taking this one step at a time. Later!